Hi, welcome to Okra Hamster. Today I'll be unboxing this TP-Link AC750 Wi-Fi range extender. The model number is RE200. So before I open up, let's look at some highlights in the box. Well, this is fit for Blu-rays, game consoles, smart TVs. If you have a router that supports WPS, they offer easy setup. Intelligent signal detector. Let's see, same thing over here. Extend your router coverage to computers, mobile phones. And it has an Ethernet port on the back. 100 bit, megabit Ethernet port. All right, let's open this up. Before I open this device here, let's take a look at what we have in this pamphlet. We have a quick install guide, resource CD, and license notification, license notice. Alright, so here's the RE200. There's a number of indicators. Over here is 5G, 2.4G, Wi Fi. Ethernet, I believe, or power. And here's the WPS button right on the bottom here. It's got a symbol right up on the back. Basically, goes over the motto. For the power, it supports 100 to 240 volts. So it's universal. It goes over the default username and password, MAC address, the SSID. And on the bottom, here's the Ethernet port and also the reset button. And as for in here, let's see what else it came with. Oh, just a network cable. I have not set up this range extender yet, so I'm just going to record my first time setting this up. First thing I'm going to do is plug in the power. Once I plug in the power, all the LEDs lit. They all diminished, and the only one that's lit right now is the power, which is solid green. What I'm waiting for right now is it's in the boot process. I'm waiting for either the 2.4 gigahertz band or the 5 gigahertz band Wi-Fi to illuminate. Okay, so now the 2.4 gigahertz band is illuminated. I'm gonna go to my computer. Let's go to Wi-Fi. I'm gonna scan the Wi-Fi network, and I found a two, the TP-Link one range extender. I'm gonna connect to it. Okay, once it's connected, and according to the instructions, it says go to the TP-Link repeater net, and for default user ID and password. It's admin, admin. So here I can enter my own information if I wanted. Yes, being sent here, click exit for yourself. I'm gonna try next. I'm gonna select my region, USA. Next. It's getting my home wireless for my home wireless network. All right, so I'm gonna choose mine. Next. My password. And currently I don't have an AC router, so I couldn't find anything on the 5 gigahertz band. That's fine. I'm going to skip. I don't want to use this band anyway. Let's go next. And here, just review my settings. I'm going to hit finish. All right, since reboot finished, let me just head it over to this Wi Fi setting here. So now it has the other one, the extended one, is named the same one as my primary Wi-Fi SSID, but it now has an underscore 5G next to it. And put in my password. Join. Okay. So for the signal strength, previously I was getting about one to two bars at this corner of the house. I'm upstairs, the router's downstairs. The router I'm using is the one that's provided by my cable provider. It's an Action Tech router. Let me just run a speed test using this app right here. So in this house, I just have an 802.11n router. My internet, I guess if it's wired, is 50 megabits down and 50 megabits up. Wow, I don't think I've seen it that high before. Okay, it's pretty impressive. It says the download is just over 27 megabits and upload is just over 51 megabits per second. 
So what I'm going to do right now is switch back to the previous SSID. So now that I'm, out, I'm on a previous SSID, same thing, I'm going to run another test. Another speed test. It's a little bit slower. So this, this range extender definitely makes a difference. Now, using the original router, my download is 13, just over 13 megabits per second. Upload was just over 23. And let's look at the results again. So with the range extender, which is the one right here, it was 27 and 51. Without the range extender, it was 13 and 23. For this speed test, I'll be testing the Ethernet port on this TP-Link range extender. And on my computer, I'll be using a USB Ethernet adapter. This one's by Linksys. It's 100 megabits per second. So I'm just plug it in here. Also plug it on my computer. The computer I'm testing this on is a MacBook Pro with Retina. And so let me first change my network setting here. So that I'll choose the USB. Next, I'm going to open up the speedtest.net. It's still impressive. 25 and 32. Thank you for watching this unboxing and the setup tutorial of the TP-Link AC750 Wi-Fi range extender, model RE200. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching. Welcome, Hamster. Bye.